Good evening. Welcome to worship as we gather for this uh, third and final of our Advent midweek services, uh, Singing Holden Evening Prayer. Um, good to have you here. Good to have you folks who are joining from home. Um, tonight, in the middle of the service, we will spend a little time talking about our chrismas. Um, I'll say more about that when we get to that point in the service. But I invite you to turn as we uh, share and hold it. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine with people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving all of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on Those of you who have been attending or watching from home, you know at this point we start the next piece together. We break into parts. Part one will follow me. Part two will follow Candy. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you. 
may our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. So I learned that our usual practice for the chrismons here is to wait till after the fourth Sunday of Advent service and then put the chrismons on the tree. This year we would have about six hours (laughs) to do that. And rather than make the 24th even more crazy than it is already, um, we thought maybe decorating the tree tonight after the worship service would be a good thing to do. And for the reflection time, we're going to go through um, some of the symbols uh, that the chrismons are. I will hold them up. You'll see them on the monitor, uh, or you can see me holding them, uh, and you'll hear a brief explanation about what those symbols mean. After service tonight, after we're done with the hold-in service, Uh, Those who would like to, uh, please come forward and we will put the chrismons on the tree. The fish is the most ancient symbol for our Lord and was used as an easily recognized secret sign by early Christians. This symbolic image had a secret meaning in the early church, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior, which provided protection from persecution. In the catacombs, fish were drawn on the walls to direct worshipers to meeting places. When we see this symbol today, we can remember a time when Christians were persecuted for their beliefs and how they succeeded in spreading the gospel despite all these obstacles. The Christmas rose symbolizes the nativity of our Lord. Isaiah prophesied that the desert would blossom as the rose. IHS is related to an abbreviation for the Greek word for Jesus. Originally, it was abbreviated IHC, but as knowledge of Greek became rare, the Greek C was changed to a Latin S, so it it became IHS or in hoc signo, meaning in this sign. It is a familiar symbol to us even today, as we sometimes see these letters on paraments in our chancel area. The wheat and grapes represent the body and blood of Christ. The butterfly is a symbol of Christ's resurrection and eternal life because it emerges with a glorified body, able to soar into the sky from its time in the cocoon after being a caterpillar. It is as if the caterpillar has died, then is resurrected into this beautiful creature. Such will be our everlasting life with Christ. There are many designs and symbols of the cross. The cross is always a symbol of Christianity because Christianity was founded not only on the birth and teachings of Jesus Christ, but on his death, on the cross, and his resurrection. The most popular form of cross is the Latin cross, with the upright longer than the crossbar. The cross was glorified in the early church because Jesus' crucifixion did not end his life. Jesus showed us that he was raised from the dead and that through belief in God and Jesus, we too will have everlasting life. Because of this, the cross is one of the most glorious symbols in Christendom. The cross that ends in an anchor symbolizes that Christ is our anchor throughout life and that if we turn to him, we won't be adrift in the sea of life. Christians of the first century called this the cross of hope. It is one of the oldest symbols of our faith. Christ is the hope of the world. The cross inside the circle reminds us that Christ should be the center of our world.
The creator's star, also called the Star of David, is formed by superimposing two equilateral triangles on one another and is a symbol of creation. It also doubly emphasizes the Holy Trinity. This star represents our Lord, whose family lineage was from King David through Joseph, who raised Jesus as his own son. The eight-pointed star symbolizes regeneration. The apostle Peter inspired the use of eight-sided or pointed figures as symbolic of our regeneration through baptism. The Epiphany star has five points and refers to the revelation of Jesus as the Son of God. Peter also speaks of the morning star rising in our hearts. It was this wondrous star that guided the shepherds long ago to the manger in Bethlehem. The crown shows that through Christ, God will rule over the world, not through war and hatred, but through love and peace, and that love is stronger than hate. In today's world, we need to remember this. The triangle represents the Trinity, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit. Another symbol of the Trinity is the shamrock or three-leaf clover. A legend states that St. Patrick was near a meadow one day when Irish, Irish chieftains asked for an explanation of the Trinity. He saw a shamrock, a yellow flower with three leaves, picked it, and told them that God is like that flower. The flower has three petals, and the three petals form this shamrock. Similarly, God consists of three persons, and yet is one God. Small white lights are used on our tree, first to represent each person who makes up the body of Christ at Bethany, and to remind us that by working together, as do all of these lights, we can shine brightly in our city as a light of Christ. As Mother Teresa said, we we cannot all do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. Matthew quotes Christ as saying, what you do to the least of these, you have done to me. As we turn on the lights of this tree, may we be reminded of the love of our church family and the love of God who loves us unconditionally. The first two chapters of Luke tells the story of the birth of Christ. This narrative of our Savior's infancy summarizes the whole message of the gospel using images and symbols such as these Christmas to remind us of what the birth of this child meant for the salvation of the world. The longings of the ages were fulfilled in Christ Jesus, yet we still long for Christ to come again and set things right. Now more than ever, we need the Prince of Peace's message to resound throughout the world. Spirit rejoices in 
us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. God, creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be our light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Again, thank you for being here, and those who wish to come forward, I will move this uh, bin containing the chrismons. It's divided into two parts, so if you picked one up from here, it goes to that tree or one. We make it pretty simple. Um, so um, please feel free to come forward and uh, take part in the final decorating. Up here. Up there, right yep. There. Yep. 